Okay, today we are going to do the review. So you have already done all the vocabulary. So you will review slope intercept form, a way of writing an equation in the form of y equals to mx plus b, where m is a slope and b represents the y intercept at 0 and b. So all the vocabulary words you can check your notes and you can complete that. I'm going to help you in one of the slope intercept form. So going to work in couple of questions to just review few of the questions. So let's graph this. We are going to start with whenever you start graphing we always start with the y-intercept then write down what is the slope. So 3 over 2, 3 rise rise over run so we'll start with the y intercept so it is 2 go up 3 1 2 3 and then 1 2 then go down 1 2 3 and 1 2 to the left and then connect those points see you can go straight as much as you can touch that point and then y is equal to negative x so we can do one with the standard form how we are going to do that so let's write down into the slope intercept form 3x minus y take 10 to the other side subtract 3x from both the sides you get negative 5y equal to negative 3x plus 10. So divide by negative 5 to both the sides. Now you have y equals to 3 over 5. Negative negative becomes positive. 10 divided by negative 5 is negative 2. So now it's in a slope intercept form. You can do it with the intercepts also so let's graph it you start with negative 2 so your first point go up 3 1 2 3 over 5 1 2 3 4 5 okay so we go down to 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 so you get three points let's connect those points so there should be a straight line Okay, so you convert it into a slope intercept form and then graph or you can use the x intercepts and y intercepts. Okay, let's move it up. The inequalities again we can do it the x intercepts so let's graph it the inequalities. So write it in a slope intercept form negative 4y is greater than and equal to take the 3x to the other side negative 3x plus 12 you divide by negative 4 whenever you divide by the negative sign the inequality sign change so it's greater than and equal to is going to change with less than and equal to negative and negative becomes positive 3 fourth x minus 12 divided by negative 4 will be minus 3. Okay, and it is equal to, so it's going to be a solid line. So let's start graphing. Starts with negative 3, so 1, 2, 3. You get one point here. Now go up 3, 1, 2, 3 and run 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, run to the right. Now you have to go down 3, 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, and you get one point here, and then you will just connect these points to get a line. Okay, and then it is less than and equal to so if we put in the origin y0 x0 0 is less than and equal to negative 3 
so let's shade our part so you shaded the below okay now you have x intercept y intercept and slope of the following so find out the x intercept it is x is equal to negative 5 so what will be the x intercept here so let's find out the x intercept so x is negative 5 it will be negative 5 y intercept will be 0 none then slope is an undefined it's a vertical line so slope will be undefined let's do one example of a graph how to read your graph so that's your x-intercept okay I'm just using two different colors try to dot this x-intercept and then y will be your y point here that's your y-intercept so write down our x-intercept So x intercept will be 4 and 0. Now we'll write down the y intercept. Y intercept will be negative 2, sorry, positive 2, so 0 and 2. Okay, now you have to write down a slope. So let's see, it's going down 1 and over 2. So y is equal to mx plus b and y equals to what will be our m. So rise over run, it's going down 1 over 2. So negative 1 over 2x plus b and b is 2. So that will be R and slope will be negative half. So we got our x-intercept, y-intercept and the slope. Okay. So let's see. Write an equation in a slope-intercept form for each line. So we can do one line parallel or perpendicular. You can do one line so let's take a line for a perpendicular so if a line is given in a perpendicular we can still do it let's take it it is in the standard form so you write down in a slope intercept form so subtract 5x from both the sides 2y equal to negative 5x plus 8 you divide by 2 to keep that y alone so negative 5 over 2x plus 8 divided by 2 will be 4 so this will be our slope intercept form so in a perpendicular what is a rule in a perpendicular Slope will be opposite reciprocal. So negative will be positive and reciprocal means 2 over 5. So change the sign and flip. So your slope for perpendicular line will be 2 over 5, 2 fifths. Okay. Let's draw a line here. Mm -hmm. And then you will have M is... Slope will be 2 over 5 and we have a point 7 and 3. So you have x is 7, y is 3. We'll write down our slope intercept form y is equal to mx plus b. We have a slope. Now we need to find out a y intercept. So we have y equal to m is substitute the value of m x what is a x x is 7 
so x is 7 plus b let's substitute the value of y also so y is 3 right so you will have 3 equal to 7 times 2 is 14 over 5 plus b so 3 minus 14 over 5 equals to b 5 times 3 is 15 minus 14 will be b equal to 1 fifth so you got your b so what will be your equation y equals to mx plus b and m is let's check it out our m is 2 fifth so 2 over 5 x plus b is 1 over 5 so that would be so this line y is equal to negative 5 over 2 x plus 4 is perpendicular to y equal to 2 fifth x plus 1 fifth okay so that's the way you will do it in parallel lines you will keep the same slope so find out the same slope and keep it same and then you can do that we can do one example of parallel lines so the what will be the slope slope will be negative 6 because it's going to be a same slope and rest will be all same you have x point and a y point write down in a slope intercept form so y will be 4 slope will be 6 x will be 4 and plus p so 6 times 4 is 24 plus p you take 24 to the other side so you get 28 is equal to b so our y intercept is 28 so let's write down the equation which is parallel to the given line so slope is negative 6 x plus 28 and that will be your parallel line so next you can do it slope and point so it covers it then there is a word problem you can set up that solve two equations solve the system of equation using substitution so you can substitute it so let's do one problem with the substitution and then you need to classify it so negative so if this is equation one this is equation two we need to find find out which equation we are going to use to solve so let's take the second equation y equal to x plus 3 makes it a little easy so take the easy one substitute in equation number 1 negative 3x plus 3y equal to 4 3x plus 3y substitute the value of y use the distributive property 3 times 3 is 9 so 3x and 3x got cancel or you say 0 9 equals to 4 that's not true so classify it no solution and inconsistent Okay, so we did that part in elimination. You can eliminate it. So let's take one question with the elimination. So let's do letter W. Okay? 
So we'll eliminate, take the number 1, let's multiply with negative 3. So you got negative, negative is positive, 7 times 3 is 21x minus 3y equal to 57. So you have negative 2x, 3y equal to negative 19. Excuse me. Cross out the wrong one. So 19x equal to 57 minus 19 will be 38 divided by 19 x is equal to 2 we got the value of x let's plug it back in the equation to find out the value of y So negative 7, x is 2, the negative 14, plus y, 14, add 14 to both the sides. So y equals to negative 5. So we'll have both the points x is 2, y is negative 5. It is consistent and independent. Okay. Then we have some inequality questions. So let's do one of the inequality one. So we can graph the parallel lines. So y is equal to y is greater than negative 2. So solve that one. Right in a y slope intercept form. So y will be greater than and equal to negative x minus 3, and y will be less than and equal to negative x plus 3. You can still say with the equation that you are going to get uh, parallel lines. So you will start graphing it, start with negative 3, go one down and then one to the right, go one up, left and then let's do the another one, draw a line. Okay, let's graph another one, plus 3, and we need to go one down, one over, one up, one to the left, you can go one more down, two over. Connect those points.
you can see that you get a thing parallel lines and you get x so y is greater than or equal to negative x negative 3 so that means 0 is greater than or equal to negative 3 so now you're going to shade it okay so you got this and then we have two problems what problems you will write it and graph it so that's all for the today make sure you complete your entire review all the notes are posted and prepare yourself for the test.